Welcome to tutorial 2.3. I'll just load the previous tutorial 2.2 and this is where we got to. We just entered some windows and used default room names. The 0.9 millimeters there is the seal height which I don't want to display so I'm going to switch this off using the visibility option and turn the seal height off and it disappears. I'm now going to change the default room names. I can double click on the either the room or I can double click on the actual room name to edit the room name. We'll call this the reception. I can actually change the text. That text for me is too big. I shall select 2.5. Use the same font and the name reduces. I can now transfer properties to transfer that property change to all the other text. So on all layers, finish and the properties included the name, which is unfortunate, but it doesn't matter because we're going to change the name. So double click each name and we'll call this the lounge and we'll call this the hall and we'll call this the utility room and we call this the kitchen and we'll call this the dining room. Yes, the layout's not quite right. I want to add a door here. And I'll delete this door, select it and press delete. Zoom out and I'm going to just add some dimensions. I'm going to use arrow dimensions here. You can change the look of the dimension and I'm going to use 2.5 millimeter high text. I'm going to say that's my default. Use a single dimension. Just click at each point that you wish to measure and then drag the dimension out. So this is a single dimension. There is a, there are several different um, dimension types here. And we can also put in the floor area, floor volume default. These are automatically calculated. You just have to switch it on for each room and the the value will dis be displayed for each room. So I'll put another single dimension here. And I'll just demonstrate chain dimensions, I think. We'll put a guideline in because I want to make sure my two chain dimensions I'm going to enter are actually uh, a line so I'm going to just snap my chain dimension along this dimension line so select that and each part that crosses the dimension is automatically dimensioned and this part also see how my dimension snaps to the the guideline uh, again this text is too big for me I will double click this and I can change the text height Again, 2.5. I can either edit each one individually or I can use this transfer properties feature where I select the source and then change the target or all similar uh, with the same properties. So on all layers and all of my text changes. So the transfer properties feature can save you a lot of time. And now I'm going to show you another use of layers. I'm going to introduce a new layer and I'm going to call that dimensions. Of course, all the floors are just layers, but we can create our own layers and add different things to the layers as we wish. And I will now 
send all of my dimensions to my dimension layer. I have to disable dimensions, otherwise I don't know they've moved. So right click, move layer to dimensions and do the same for each of the other dimensions. So that allows you to quickly switch on dimensions. You could have one layer of the dimensions in metric, another layer of dimensions in imperial. Right, we'll save our project and we'll save this as 2.3. So that concludes tutorial 2.3. Next tutorial 2.4 is an introduction to stairs.